Hey friends, welcome back to the programming fields. I'm Umesh and today we are refining the user experience of our Laravel 12 plus React plus Inertia CRUD app with something really practical and clean. We already have this search, pagination and show per page records functionality working. But would not it be helpful if users could actually see how many products match their searches. So just imagine you just type something in the search just like Dell and immediately seeing total filtered results from this total entries. That is exactly what we are building today. This will be a smart filtered results counter that updates in real time with no page reloads. So let's enhance our table UI and make it feel truly responsive and user friendly and all using full stack magic with Laravel 12, React and Inertia.js. This tiny addition makes a big difference in real world dashboards and admin panels. When users search, they want to know how many results matched their query, especially when filters are applied. So let's implement this in a clean and reactive way. So let's quickly jump to the code editor. And here we have this product controller index function for listing out the products. Firstly, we will update the query here. So instead of this products, I'll change this variable to products query. And here I'll apply this products query. Okay. And at the very first step, we will just get the total product count. So I will introduce one more variable as total count. And this I will fetch it from product query count. And here we are just capturing the total count before applying any filters. Now in the next step, we will get the filtered results count. So here we are applying the filters and after filtering this result, I will just extract filtered count. All right. And this will be captured from this product query because here we are applying the filters. All right. So this will return filtered count. Now here we will have to change this variable to products query and here as well. Okay. Now here for returning all the data, we will have to update the variable here. So in it's the total previously, we were just getting the all products count. But now in the total, we will have to get the filtered count. Okay. And also for this two, we were getting all products count. So again, we will have to get the filtered count only. Now we have to pass this data in the index component as a props. So we will have to return this from here as total count and filtered count. All right. Now, respectively, we will have to capture these props in the index component. So I will quickly navigate to the index component. And here we will receive the props. So in the index component function, I will just capture the total count and filtered count. Just like this. Now also we will have to define the types here. So this will be type of number and this filtered count as well. Now we will have to pass these two props in this pagination component here. So firstly, we will have to pass these two props from this index component. So I'll scroll to pagination called component here. And let's pass the props as total count equals to total count. And also filtered count equals to filtered count. Now along with these two, I will pass one more props as search. So based on that, we will apply some condition because we have already introduced search variable here. This and this props is coming from this controller from this filters props, right? So I will just pass this props here in this pagination component. I will just pass search and this I will pass it from state that is data dot search because we are setting this search variable in this state here. So whatever we are typing in this search input, 
we have just captured and set that to this state variable. So this is done from this index component. Now we will have to capture these props in this pagination component. So let's capture this one by one. Firstly, we will capture this total count. Thereafter, we have this filtered count and search as well. Now regarding these props, we will have to define the data type as well. So let's define total count and again this will be number, filtered count, this will be number and this search will be string. This is done. Now if we we'll console it, these three variables just like console.log, total count, filtered count and search. I'll come to the browser, I'll open the developer console, I'll clear it out and firstly I'll reset this. Now I will apply the filter. So in the input search, I'll just type can and here we have this total count as 37. Next we have this 4 and this 4 is representing this filtered count. So based on this search term that is can, so belonging to this can word, we have total 4 products filtered out. And this is our search term, right? So we are getting the correct result here. We have total 37 results. So out of 37, this has matched only 4 records. So based on this, we can display this pagination information here. So let's add that. Here we were displaying this pagination information, right? And here I'll just add one condition because we will have two types of information. Firstly, if the search filters is not applied, then this will display the total records based on this per page record, right? But if the search is applied, then it will display the count from total and that searched term. So let's add the condition. Firstly, I will just check if search is there, then I will open this parenthesis and also I will just add else condition. So this current message will be displaying for the else part here, okay. And for the if part, I'll just copy this line and I will paste it here, just like this. Now we will update this variable here. So if search is there, that means if filtered is applied, then we will change the total count here. So this will be filtered count. So this message will be like showing filtered count results and we'll update this as filtered result okay out of and this will be total so we have this total count so i will change this to total count this is done now let's navigate to the browser and let's refresh this okay let me remove the console first okay now i'll close this developer console and firstly, I'll change the default value to 10. So in the index component, we set the initial state to 5. I will change this to 10. Okay, this is done. Now if I'll refresh, yeah, we have 10 rows per page. So now I will apply filter just like can. And here we have message as showing four filtered results. And we have to remove that count I think we have missed that yes this one this is not required now yeah this is fine now so this will be results like showing four filtered results out of 37 so we have total 37 entries and out of 37 this has filtered four products having name or description with this can now if we'll try to filter more then yes we have this Canon result related to one product only. So this is working. Now if we'll reset this and if we'll check out the message, now this is showing showing 1 to 10 from total 37 entries. And let's update this message as well. Instead of this from total, I will just add out of total entries. This is done. Now we can update one more thing. Just like if we'll apply the filter can. Currently, we have total 4 filtered results out of 37 entries, right? 
this is result so instead of this result i will just change this to results and result based on the condition that means if the filtered count is one then that will display the result if there are more than one filtered count that should display as results all right so let's apply that condition here in this message so here we will apply one condition as if filtered count not equals one then this will append s in this result so the string will be like filtered results okay and also for this entries if we have total one entry then this should not display entries instead it should display entry only so let's add condition here and here we will check it from total count if total count not equal equals one then this will display entries else it will display entry this is done now same thing i'll just copy and paste it for the else condition this is done here let's navigate to the browser and if we'll refresh currently we have 1 to 10 out of 37 entries now we'll apply filter so currently we have total four filtered results belonging to this can word now if we'll search for canon yes we have one filtered result out of 37 entries so this is done so there you have it we just enhanced our table ux by adding dynamic filtered results count based on user search it is a small detail but it makes your app feel way more professional coming up next we are adding sortable columns headers model forms and maybe even csv export so your crud system feels like a real sas dashboard also you can drop your suggestion in the comments and as always don't forget to like subscribe and share this with your developer circle so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video